Fucking Chels. Bye bye. Up the Chels. Hey guys, I'm up the fucking Chels. Good right, fucking bro. man. Mate. Great win tonight. Thank See you, you Sunday. Have a good one. Guys, before you watch the video, check out the sponsor match bingo. It's bingo with a twist. Instead of playing with numbers, you would play with things that happen in a match. It could be goals, assists, offsides. If you were playing today, there was a lot of goals. If you had them, you cross out your lines, you win lots and lots on your prizes. It's two pounds to enter. Got to be over 18, guys. Click the link below. Download Match Bingo. Let me know how you get on. You will not be disappointed. Hi everyone, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. Chelsea just beat Man United 4-3 at home. Alex is editing the vlog, which you better watch because it's a brilliant one. Yeah, what a game, what a performance. And do you know what? Not even what a performance. It was shambolic from start to finish. At about 85 minutes, I thought, great, let's enjoy the 35 minutes. We had it good at the start. And then, yeah, hard to control, lost control of the game. And then Cole Palmer, typical fashion. He loves an equaliser against Manchester teams, though. I thought that was it. We fought so hard to just get a point at home. Again, when last week, when did we play Burnley? On Sat Saturday, Sunday? Yes, yes, last week, yeah against 10 men we couldn't beat Burnley and they almost even beat us then and I thought great 2-0 lead at home and somehow it's ended up us fighting for dear life to equalize to get a point at home against Man United again but in typical fashion what on earth 4-3 Cole Palmer is absolutely brilliant honestly signing of the season signing of the last since the takeover if Recruitment did one job right, it was bringing in Cole Palmer because he has been absolutely brilliant. Um, thank you. Can we pay more? Can we pay Man City a little bit extra for him? <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I'm back in. I'm oh, back in. Back in. I wasn't sorry. Doing a good job, was no, I? no, no, you're doing a great job, but I was no, trying to do the right. vlog. So, bit, yeah. what have I missed, Nina? What have I missed? Nothing, just uh, saying how, yeah, how good it feels. Stamford Bridge hasn't yeah. been this lively in ages, and we deserved it. So, pretty or not, whatever. Man United haven't been winning pretty games this season. How have they but you know what they're sick and who am I to chat when Chelsea have been struggling and we've not been able to grind out results and things so I guess that's where the two teams are separated but we showed fight and spirit towards the end because we wanted it so much more at the end of the day a point after that game would not have been good enough because we were 2-0 up at home and when you are 2-0 up at home you've got to control the game you've got to manage it well right you know at the end of the day that is exactly what you should be doing as a home team but we didn't and then after that um um, uh, was it Garnacho that scored first for 2 1? There were so many like, goals. So many I think, goals, uh, I uh, yes, Garnacho did get the second goal for them, if I'm not wrong. No. No, he, no, got, he got the, the first, first goal. And they got the third as well. Yes. Yes. I can't even remember. Fernando's got the second. Guys. Yes. Bruno scored, yes. that's it. And honestly, I thought we've lost control. And after that, Caicedo's mistake, it seemed that like it was almost a rotten apple was thrown onto the pitch and it spread throughout the team because we were misplacing passes. We seemed to not be like able to really string like three passes like Matt said um, last week so yeah it wasn't good enough it wasn't good enough and everyone was worried because we all know that in the second half we never come out looking better if anything we regress really and that is kind of what you saw Man United came out a lot hungry and they saw that you know Chelsea did give them a goal so perhaps they could go for another and that's exactly what they did so yeah it was it was pretty deflating to be fair them getting the equaliser we thought here we go again like we cannot enjoy anything good Don't <laughs> so I thought, yeah, like, again. Chelsea boys are on the bench. Might knock the mic off you this time. I appreciate it. So, well, Have you knocked out before? The before? last five minutes, unreal. Yeah, for Palace away, mate, I think I did your mic in, man. But, yeah, anyway, look, amazing performance at the end, anyway. Hello, mate. How are you doing? <laughs> Look, I'm so happy with that. I can't believe it. Like, I just, I thought we were done and dusted. Um, I, 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 three Bellens in front you know, of Man United, well. Man United considering two goals as, Ma as Mason Mount comes on as well. Mason, what's the score? Mason, Mason, what's the score? Slippery, mate. He's slippery. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, honestly, you didn't even have to see who was getting substituted to know who was coming on when the booze like filled Stamford Bridge. You just but didn't was, have to know. I know he wasn't going to receive flowers, but Stamford Bridge was so loud in that moment. It was Did you boo him? Insane. I didn't know. No. I've never booed a Chelsea player. He's not I a Chelsea player. Annoyed. What are you talking about? Um, no, I never booed a Chelsea player. I've never booed. Oh, that just didn't make sense. No. Anyways, I just former, don't former, players. Yeah. 
Um, and look, at the end of the day, I feel indifferent to Mason Mount. You know, he's a Man United player now. Whatever, it is what it is. I'm not crying over it. No Chelsea fans are crying over it. We have Cole Palmer now, so thank you very much, Man City. Um, but no, great to see. And again, like I said, none of us would have been satisfied if we walked away with... Yeah, a 3-2 defeat to Man United at home. It would have been far too many. It would have been three in a row now, and it's just simply not good enough. We haven't beaten them in the league since, what, 2017? I was still doing my GCSEs then. So, honestly, it's, it's great to see. And, yeah, Cole Palmer, there's just not enough good words in the dictionary to describe how brilliant he's been for Chelsea. What about Petrovic? I mean, I know he made a mistake, but generally he's been solid all season. Um, he's going to stay as our number one, presumably? Yeah, look, you know, when a goalkeeper concedes three goals, you... You know, you're obviously going to take a little bit of criticism, but at the end of the day, you know, his defenders let him down today as well massively. There was individual errors, and I think that's been a pattern this season where sometimes Petrovic's not been supported by his back line. I've lots of games seen him, you know, shout at our defenders. There's been, you know, mistakes made there. So he's got the right to. I think he has been exceptional as well ever since he took over Sanchez. So there's only so much criticism I can, you know, place on his name. So, yeah, on the most part, great. But, you know, stats speak. We've conceded two goals in the last five games six games now so and obviously today we conceded three so clearly we need to be working on that and there are still massive holes in our defense people said get Thiago Silva out but it doesn't seem that defensively we look any better do you think we need to invest more in the defense as well well, you say that, but we did invest, didn't we? We brought in Wesley Fofana. He obviously has been injured. He hasn't been playing, but that was not a cheap investment to make. And he's a young player that we look forward to seeing. Um, Badi Ashil, also an investment um, from last year. And I think he's had a bit of a tough time at Chelsea because he has had injuries. He's also a young player struggling to, you know, evolve. De Sassi, again, has been hot and cold, had brilliant games. You know, you saw some great interceptions from him tonight as well. But again, it needs to be stronger. And I think once we uh, made that mistake, in our back line you could see the insecurity kind of fleshed out and that is not a lot of solidity there so I think we do lack experience certainly but then you know you look at other investments like Malo Gusto and you think you know that's one to look for look ahead to for the future because we've got him um, knowing that you know Reese James is a bit more injury prone I've gone back to rapping now I stop rapping for a while because there's just nothing to you know be like energetic about. I'll give you the beat you keep spitting yeah Nina's back <laughs> she is back but no like let us have our happiness this season has been so dull so poor you know we're up and then we're down and frankly Manchester United coming at home yeah we had to win this game we absolutely had to we deserved it and we did it so great Nina I mean what do you say to Chelsea fans you know watching at home you know not everybody's able to go to games some people live in other countries yeah how special was it tonight and I'm just just from a fan perspective forget forget the performance forget the game obviously just just from a fan's point of view there's a lot of people today must have been their first Chelsea yeah. game. I mean, how special is it? So special. Like, I've been coming since I was really young, and I know you have as well. But, like, we're here every week, and you always come, and even in the last two seasons where it's been so dull, you always come because you hold on to that 1% of hope where you come to every game and you think, maybe this is the day where it turns around or we get better or there's still something to play for. And I guess you hang on to that as a football fan because what else do you have? And you come to Stamford Bridge, and as soon as you're in your seat, you know you feel alive it's almost like reset like the season um hasn't been so dull that you're not you're not you're not 12th in the league and it kind of all comes uh, alive again but then you know when you do get beaten or you can't beat a 10-man Burnley you do come out feeling quite deflated and I know a lot of the fans that watch us are bored of us saying the same thing week in week out and this is no promise that our next game is going to be a win is it Sheffield United we've got next and Everton after that those are probably going to be difficult games and it's no guarantee we get six points out of it and that is Chelsea's story of the season because you just don't know what you're getting until you turn up on the on the day. I I pray we can get something out of those games. Nina, yeah. I don't know what else to do. If today's not an indication that there is something, something. I don't know what is. Yeah. And then again, people will still take away from us tonight because they'll say this isn't a good Man United team, or you know they still came and gave you a tough time, and it took an equal an equalizer and then a goal after that in what like eight minutes of added time for you to win at home. Um, you know they've had injuries and they'll play that card as well. But you know, frankly, give it to us because, like I said, we've not been grinding out results. There's been loads of games. You know, we went to Old Trafford and pulled off one of the worst displays we've had this season. We walked uh, away from that one with our heads held low. So, frankly, whoever's taking away from us no like they can say this is our level but this is Chelsea's level at the minute so let us have our happiness from this game like you know whatever it was a good game it was a good result 4-3